Welcome back to Just One Question. I'm Nick Morgan, and I am absolutely thrilled to have an old friend of Public Words uh, and a, just an, an amazing human being, Dave Carroll, with us. Dave is a singer-songwriter. He's a social media innovator, which sounds cool. I'm going to have to ask him about that, I think. He's an author, as I know as, as very well, a speaker, too. Well, he was a speaker, and he will be a speaker again. So welcome, Dave Carroll. Thanks, Nick. It's good to be on the show. Tell me, uh, in 30 seconds or less, how are you doing? How's it been going for you, the lockdown? And, and uh, uh, what's, what's new with Dave Carroll in 25? So my, I'm doing a lot more parenting these days. Uh, my wife had to go help a family member somewhere else, so all, everything is on me at the house. But uh, I'm enjoying time with the kids, and I've been getting more back to the thing that brought me there, which was music and writing new songs and enjoying the process of rethinking what I'm going to be like uh, when we come out of this. Fantastic. Thanks for that. Yeah. And early on, I know, uh, because I have the link, you sent uh, a song out about washing hands with your kids, or maybe they were just some straight kids or pretending to be your kids. But anyway, they looked really cute. So I'm assuming they were your kids. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, a, a fun song. Um, and while I'm on the subject of songs, you've written a new one, which will be coming out this week or next which asks a, a more profound question or a series of questions about the coronavirus and its effects. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll be sure to put a link up uh, on this page um, as soon as it's out. So uh, uh, stay tuned, everybody, give it a listen. Okay. Um, so one question, just one question for you, Dave. Um, right, so all 50 states now in the US are, are open um, in one form or another, a little bit, a lot. Um, we're gradually creeping back to work. We're nervous. We're not quite sure what that means. Um, heck, we have no idea what's going to happen. And so in that spirit, I'm just going to ask you, a year from now, what do you imagine the world's going to look like? Uh, I've spent a lot of time thinking about that, like a lot of people, I guess, and that, that's actually the focus of the song. It asks basically the, the exact same question. When the world stops ending, what's it going to be like when we emerge? And uh, I see it uh, the, the answer is not simple as one way or the other. I think there's mm -hmm. going to be a good and bad component to it. On the bad side, uh, I'm a big believer in connection and how finding uh, more of ourselves and other people than looking for the differences. And the, the downside of all this is that we are social distancing and it's going to become normalized, I think, to the point that we won't maybe do barehanded handshakes anymore. We'll let those go and we'll put masks on. And you taught me a lot about social cues that, that uh, we imperceptibly take from other people without realizing it. And when we put a mask over ourselves, we lose our ability to read people effectively. So that's the danger I'm worried about. Uh, I think we're going to have to have inoculations in. A, uh, I heard an expert on innovation talk about a vaccine passport that we will have to have with us to prove that we have been. Uh, and if you lose that or you haven't done something, you'll be either shamed or alienated. That's a problem for me and s someone who believes in connection and bringing people together. Mm -hmm. uh, as a business, maybe wearables, we're gonna, they're going to be ubiquitous. We're going to have wearable technology that will feed information and data to each other. Again, in a way, maybe it's good, but it concerns me a little bit. Mm. But there's good sides. Uh, it's not all bad. I think uh, in, in many ways, this is the first time in my life, maybe in history, where the whole world has stopped simultaneously to agree that we have a similar problem. And that uh, mm. it's one that affects everybody, regardless of your age or gender or your station in life and this is an opportunity for us to see ourselves and other people and uh, uh, so in, in my case I'm maybe spending more time with my family like a lot of people are and uh, a lot of people are considering how much time they were commuting every single day and what they where did all that time go and now they have time to do other things and maybe they're reevaluating who they are and what they want to be when they grow up and uh, uh, so I think I, the next year is going to give us an opportunity to make a choice of uh, whether we want to be more compassionate. And again, that's one of the things I've been focusing on. And, and to be honest, I felt, as you know, we talked about it, uh, I'm a little, little uncomfortable whether that idea was welcome in a, in a business setting, but it's really cool to see now businesses sort of uh, stepping up to what I think the uh, purpose of all businesses is, which is to be of service. And when businesses lose their ability to do what they do, some of them are saying, well, what else can we be while we're out? And what uh, can we do to be of service and they're becoming something else or helping other people in need just because and I think that'll pay dividends for business and there's an opportunity for businesses to, to think differently about how they they do things 
Fantastic. Dave Carroll, wise words and thoughtful ones. And thank you so much. And uh, stay tuned for that song because that's going to address, as you point out, the same questions um, in, uh, in, in a musical form. And I can't wait. Uh, in fact, probably by the time we actually present this, uh, this little video, the song will be out. So if it is by then, I'll make sure that the link is down below uh, this little picture. And Dave Carroll, thanks again. Thanks, Nick. Thanks.